welcome to instructional videos. Today we are going to set up the Verge Glow floor display. So first thing you want to do is remove all the parts from these convenient carry cases. So first thing we're going to do is identify the top of our frame. So the top of our frame has the light clips and the bottom portion of the frame has the little black feet. So first thing we're going to do is completely open our frame. So I'm just going to pull up and open the frame. And then you're going to clip all the internal clips together. So I'm just going to push the clips together. Once you have the clips all together, we're just going to lay our frame on a clean, flat surface. Now that we have the frame laid down, we're going to begin to connect all of the channel bars around our frame. So the channel bars connect to the front and sides of our frame so that we can install the graphics. So I'm just going to start at the top. And you're just simply going to push in the nub on the bar to the hub on the frame. And you're just going to simply keep working around your frame, connecting all the channel bars. Now that I have my channel bars all attached, I'm ready to install all my graphics. So I'm just going to start with the face graphic first. When installing the graphic, you want to make sure that you start in one corner, work opposite, and then go across and then back up and then connect the sides of your display. So I'm going to start in the corner up here, and I'm just going to push the SEGs on the graphic into the channels on my frame. Now I'm going to work across. And then back across. And then back across. Now that I have all my corners connected, I'm just going to connect my sides by pushing in the SEGs into the gaskets. Now that I have my front graphic attached, I'm going to repeat the exact same steps for my side graphic. Once you have your graphic attached, we're ready to attach the feet. So to attach the feet, you're simply going to slide the holes of the feet onto the black hubs on your frame. So you're going to insert the first foot in to the hole and then slide it down to the second foot and insert it into the hole. And I'm going to repeat for the other side. Now that you have your feet attached, you're ready to stand your display up into standing position. So to stand your display up, you don't want to grab the channel bars when lifting it up, you want to grab the frame. So I'm going to grab the frame and lift up. Now that we have our display in the standing position, we're ready to attach the lights. Now special note before attaching the lights, you will want a power strip handy because there is a couple power cords for this display and the power strip is not included. So when attaching the lights, we're going to attach ladder lights to each individual quad, and then each column will be daisy chained together. So on the ladder lights, there will be stickers. One says up and one says down. So the up portion of the lights will go on the top of the display and the down portion will connect to the bottom bars. So to connect your lights, I'm just going to use a step stool and you're going to slide these top hooks onto the bars closest to the front of your display. Once you have them slid on, then you're simply going to use the bottom hooks and attach it to the bottom portion of the frame. So the hooks just snap on. And then I'm just going to repeat these steps for the rest of my lights. So I'm just going to find 
the top of my ladder lights using the hooks, slide it on, and then hook the bottom hooks. Now that I have all my lights in place, we're ready to daisy chain them together. So each column will get daisy chained together. So using the power cords on the lights, we're just gonna plug them into each other. And we're gonna do this for each column. So I'm just gonna continue to plug all the power cords in. Now that I have all the lights daisy chained together, we're ready to attach the power supply. So each column has its own power supply. So first you're gonna plug the power cord into the power supply. And then you're going to plug the one end of the power supply into the bottom of your lights. Then you're just going to plug it into an outlet. And it's just that easy to set up your Verge Glow floor display.